So we, before we get started, a couple things. Um, first off, I don't know if this video is going to actually like sync up, because the last one didn't, and I tried my best to fix that, and it didn't work, so hopefully this one will be a little more uh, synced up. But yes, um, if you haven't guessed already from the previous video, um, I'm making a return back to YouTube. But the thing is, is like I'm getting a little nervous about Vlare. I'm getting a little nervous because they've uh, shut down, uh, they've switched off again, and it's a little concerning. You know, it's a bad sign when even the people running Vlare put on their Twitter account. So what's going on with Vlare? And I'm like, you don't know. <laughs> That's a red flag. So. Um, I'm coming, so, like I said before in my previous, in my last YouTube video I did a few months ago, basically saying, hey, I'm, you know, whenever Vlare goes down, I get, you know, I wait a bit, and then I come back, um, in case of, uh, in case of stuff. So, yes. Now, the other thing I want to bring up is that, um, as this goes on, you know, if this keeps going on, and if Vlare is dead, you know, Vlair dies off, I'll come back, but, you know, I will probably change the channel to officially Mul Mr. Multiverse, because, yeah, I I like the name more than DPZ, I'm gonna be real. Anyway, and, you know, branding, always gotta update the brands. <laughs> anyway, so, um, there you go, but like I said, if Vlair does start working again, I'll do another video saying, hey, I'm going back to Vlair, but if it keeps, if this keeps being a frequent thing, then, yeah, I'm gonna, I may have to, like, reconsider my, uh, options here. Anyway, but enough about that, let's, uh, let's get into the main video. So, yes, DC Fandom is upon us, and while we did get a, um, we have gotten a few things so far, and I'll probably do, be doing more videos throughout the day talking about other stuff, but the main thing was, uh, this, ga this new game we got, Batman Gotham Knights. And I'm pretty sure we'll get, um, Bat excuse me, uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League at some point in here. Um, probably even came out as of this recording, you know, a trailer for it or more info. But, yeah, um, you're probably wondering, well, why aren't you talking about, like, the Suicide Squad teaser or the new Wonder Woman trailer? Because I feel like I've talked enough, of, I've talked to death about the Wonder Woman trailers, and I feel like, and I watched and I was like, there's nothing really here that, you know, aside from a few other scenes, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't want spoiled, spoiled for them, um, I'm pretty sure we've covered everything, we've covered all the bases, we've, we've covered all the bases with, with and Wonder Woman, and Suicide Squad, all I can say is it looks cool, like for a trailer, for a two minute, or less than two minute trailer, showing off the new costumes and showing off the new cast, I was like, I haven't even seen a full trailer, and I like this more than the 2016 movie. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that I do a lot... Um, I was surprised of uh, who they got in the movie. Um, and also, Michael Rooker as Savat. Okay, I was kind of hoping... I, I kind of thought he'd be King Shark, which King Shark is in the movie, but... Um, yeah, it just it like really Reichel Rooker. I mean, I'm not I'm not mad or anything. I wasn't like I wasn't expecting him to be Savat. You know, I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna be King Shark, but I'm cool with Savat. And also, um, I like the lineup. And also, I'm expecting a lot of death, a lot of death. So, yeah, that's really all I can say about that about the Suicide Squad trailer. But enough about that. I've almost spent four minutes talking about uh, everything else. Let's talk about Batman Gotham Knights which has the most shit I want to talk about. So Batman Gotham Knights has been a game that's been teased for months, and it's officially come out, and I am very excited. I'm very excited. It doesn't look like it's going to follow the Arkham universe. It, Yeah, in no way I thought, because at first I was like, okay, I'm guessing this is the new Arkham game, but the more you look into it, I was like, oh, so it's not tied into Arkham. Okay. Not to say anything bad about the Arkham games, but, like, I... I'm kind of glad we're kind of, uh, like, this is a new game in and of itself. And, yeah, so the story is that Batman is quote-unquote dead. I'll talk about my theories on that in a moment. But, yeah, Batman is quote-unquote dead. And, uh, Bat uh, excuse me, Tim, Dick, Barbara, and Jason are now left in charge of protecting Gotham. But they also have to stay out of the li limelight of the police because Jim Gordon is dead, too. I was like, oh, shit, Jim's dead, too. That's that's a neat one. So who's in charge of GCPD now? Makes me wonder. And also, like, 
did jo is joke because I'm pretty sure the Joker had something to do with that explosion. I'm pretty sure that Batman and Joker probably went out together or something like that. Um, we don't know how many villains are going to be in this game. We do know Mr. Freeze is a definite, and I'm also pretty goddamn sure that um, that's th those people in the masks all trying to break into the church. I'm pretty sure that was Anarchy's crew. I am like 80% sure that that was Anarchy's crew in the game. It, they were all dressed in red, they were all wearing masks similar to Anarchy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Anarchy. Could be wrong, but I'm, I think it's Anarchy. Um, and as for villains, we and this is, will play into, and I'll get to them in a moment, but yeah, there was another villains revealed at the end of the trailer that made me go, okay, I think I know what happened. So, um, I like... Uh, I like all the moves that each character has. I like that, you know, Tim looks like he's going to be the more the stealth one. Barbara's the more agile. Jason's going to be the more brute force one. And Dick's, and Dick's going to be the well-rounded character. So, also, side note, there's now no excuse to do a TMNT game like this. Because it's literally, like, if you just changed a few things, like, just changed out the Bat family for the Turtles, and just made Gotham City New York... This would literally be a. T this is perfect. This is the perfect example of how you could do a Ninja Turtles game. Like I can't be the only one who who looked at this and went, you know what? There's no excuse now to make a TMNT game like this. It looks like we are getting free roam with uh, with this game, which I'm very much excited about. Um, all the characters feel very unique and very different, which I'm I'm very thankful that no that there are the characters don't feel like. They're carbon copies, which thankfully that's what Arkham did too. Um, so I'm glad they're keeping that over with that. I'm carry I'm glad they're carrying that over with um, with this whole spiel as well. So you know, thank God for that. Um, but yeah, that's the um, that's the thing I am most excited about is that you know we've got all this cool gameplay. I saw the gameplay trail and we got to see more of Mr. Freeze and how the game's gonna work. Um, but let's talk about the main thing, um, and this plays at the end of the trailer. So the end of the trailer reveals the Court of Owls are going to be look like they're going to be the main villains of the story. So here's why I think Bruce Wayne isn't dead. I don't believe Bruce Wayne is dead in this game. I think what has happened is that Bruce and maybe the Joker, maybe, keyword maybe, have vanished during the explosion, because they did say that an explosion happened. But I think what happened is that... Uh, Bruce's body was switched out with somebody else. Um, maybe Clayface, maybe even... I, I would be shocked if they use like, someone like Dr. Double X or something. Um, and they took... The Court of Owls took Bruce and brainwashed him to be a Talon. That's where I think the game's gonna go. I honest to God believe that... I Again, could be wrong, but for right now, I am gonna call it right now. The end game boss is going to be a is going to be a Talon Bruce. That's what I think is going to happen. Is that Bruce Wayne was taken by the Court of Owls? His death was faked by the court because the court can lit. It's the so, uh, the highest members of uh, Gotham City, so you know they could pretty much do it and do anything. And I think this is their first time in a video game. I do believe this is going to be their first appearance in a video game. So yay. One of the few things I like from the Scott Snyder run is um, he gave us the Court of Owls. Um, and I don't hate Scott Snyder. It's just that his Batman run, aside from Court, there's really nothing there. Sorry. Um, where was I going with this? Ah, yes. Um, so, yeah, I do think that's where we're going to go, is that we're going to discover that, oh, shit, Bruce is alive, but he's a mind-controlled Talon now. As for other characters, I'm really hoping as this game progresses, like later on they'll reveal DLC characters. I'm really hoping we get uh, again like some DL some other members of the Bat family showing up in this game. Like I would love to see Jean Paul. I would love to see uh, Cassandra. Um, Damien would be a cool choice because it is cool that we are getting Dick. I thought for sure that if it was going to be a Robin, it was going to be Damien, but nope, it's it's uh, Tim. Um, I'm glad it was Tim. Uh, Tim Drake, my, my favorite Bat member of the Bat family. Really glad he's getting some spotlight again. But I, d I wouldn't put it past him to have Damien in this game as maybe a DLC. Um, Stephanie would also be cool. Uh, Huntress as well. Yeah, just get those characters too and we're, and we're set. Maybe even Ragman. 
would be a cool one for uh, members of the bat as uh, mem- defenders of Gotham or even Man Bat. And he's always con- considered like a he's now a member of the extended Bat family. So how about Man Bat as more of like a more like punch like a more like brutal kind of character. But if we're going to get like more hopefully if we get more DLC the four I would really like to see first and foremost are Cassandra Cain, Jean-Paul Valley or Michael Lane just Azriel in general, Huntress and Stephanie Brown. Those would be my four picks for the next characters for DLC in this if we get DLC characters and DLC storylines, which I have no doubt we will. I have no doubt that we will get DLC storylines from this game. So, no doubt about that. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Batman Gotham Knights? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Also, um, what do you guys think happened to Bruce? And um, are you guys hoping for maybe some DLC storylines or um, characters? And if so, what characters would you like like to see? But uh, once again, uh, I'm Deadpoolzilla for now. And I'll see you next time.